Hello everyone, my name is Zeno, and I am back with more Tales of Berseria. So, um, I actually already recorded a little bit of this, uh, but I had to scrap about eight minutes of footage because, uh, those eight minutes could have been condensed into about 200 frames, which isn't much when I'm supposed to be recording at 30 frames a second. Turns out rendering and recording at the same time do not play well. So, uh, in the future I won't do that. Oops, and I've already forgotten how to play, I guess. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know! They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. Alright, so... Guard dogs that don't guard. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting bricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on! Think big! Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? Hmm, no thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <laughs> so I determined earlier that, uh... There is some fancy equipment I can buy, but... I don't have enough money for it, even after selling stuff, and I've just decided anything with this little loot bag next to it is uh, for selling, so I'm just going to treat it as such. Wait. I could sell many at... This is a thing that I did not figure out earlier. Yeah, so like I could I could buy a, a fancy new blade, but I'd be left down with one gold. So I'll I'll wait until some other time. I've also decided uh, I'm not gonna bother reading these text boxes out loud. If they're not voiced, I'll just leave it up on screen for a second in case anyone actually cares to uh, read it. But uh, I'll just be giving it the old silent treatment. Of course, that means I probably need to find some other way to fill the, uh, the silence. I'll have to work on that. Got a tomato. Um, I also think for the most part, I'm not going to bother too much with uh, these silent ones. I don't think there's much... I think they have all the important information highlighted with the exclamation points and the voice acting and stuff. I'll still check a few every once in a while just to see if there's anything interesting, but uh, for the most part probably just skip them. Celica, I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. 
I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. And right about here is where I realized that uh, everything I'd recorded had was pretty much unwatchable because it was so choppy. And I managed to cut a good three-ish minutes off of that because I had a better idea of what I was doing for those five minutes. <laughs> Welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me, then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Did the item come back? It did not. Is there one up here now? There is. Okay, so C centers the camera. That's... Mildly annoying that it shares a function with something else I might do while the camera can be controlled. Uh... Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Luffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur. So I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she <laughs> should try to be more ladylike. Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Not very nice to go digging in your little brother's journal. Or diary, or whatever you want to call it. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? 
Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? I guess this is when I was supposed to find that tomato upstairs. I think it was a tomato. I already can't remember. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A uh, girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. <laughs> for one thing, I've gotta cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? Jump. And run. Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know. But I'm trying to look after you, too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. I guess. Good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Music's a lot louder all of a sudden. Don't know why that was so loud. <sighs> okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Laffy? little where have you gone i'm gonna guess the market you better not have gone to the village alone uh, certain... i bet your fever hasn't even gone down compasses no new items nothing there Oh, 
Oh, that blue dot's just where I stood. Okay. I have to find all the items. Only to never end up actually using them for anything. But at least I'll have them. Must be an interesting wall. Really doing a touch up job on that, huh? <laughs> Bad joke. Hey, has Luffy Set been here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. <laughs> Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free. But he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Don't look very sealed to me. Velvet! I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Classic send the helper the opposite direction. I know. He might have gone to the cape to pick flowers. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Yeah, probably. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Maybe that way? You know, towards towards the, the He could have gone one of two directions. He didn't pay attention to which one of those two directions he went. Helpful. Real helpful. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques. And exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry and be lonely. All right, so we have determined he did not, in fact, go the wrong way. So we 
he must have gone the obvious direction that we were told about the first thing. We. Gotta love how it's always barred from the inside. No getting. No gate. No getting back in. Items. Or fragment. Taking a break. Oh, you little. You know better than this, Lofi said. Running off without telling Clearly me. Really, he doesn't? What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Oh. Remember how we went out together to pick Princessias on the morning of Celica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right, because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Guess I should stop cleaning out the bottom of my mouse. <laughs> Another one? How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, why not? Right, here goes! Still have no idea if that actually means anything. Right, here goes. I'll just fight everything. Is that all? I could have sworn there was an another one. At least I got a turn. Oh, yeah, so there was. Not bad. Victory in seven seconds. It's almost like I'm getting good at fighting the same thing over and over. Who'd a thunk? on it, boy. Yeah, and that quick save is where I, uh, where I realized things were going horribly wrong with the first recording. I thought I could just pause and start recording again later, <sighs> but no, it was bad. These. This place never changes, does it? It does, and the same goes for what Oops, lies across the sea. Oops, I didn't mean to sea. do that. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy, do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh. A demon! Uh -oh. Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Okay, I'm Why not is ready. a demon here? I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too! But please! Arthur said, but I have to do this! Oops, spines. Stop! Face me, demon! Luffy. Rip Luffy said. Velvet.
just in time. There's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, nope. no, it wasn't! Run, girl, run. After we explore and make sure that there's new items. That book looks suspicious, but okay. I feel like the music is really quiet. I think I'm actually going to turn it up a bit. If that ends up being too loud, I can adjust it later. so difficult to get past. No! The village! Dead kids, too. That's not good. Sorry, no time to play. Gotta go.
Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lachisek's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? Looks familiar. <laughs> Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you will not change. Ever a slave to emotion. Scary. A demon that feeds on demons. Arthur. Atheria. Take a look around. Ripple. 
you can. Oh, and, and those other people, I guess. Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. Damage, difficulty, item free victory over powerful foe. And equipment skill mastery, sweet. reason to win battles with basically everything I can wear. Got it. So did my world come to an end? And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Dungeon design here. Dark, underground, stone, torches everywhere that seem to burn forever. First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Another tutorial. Oh, swift movement to the target. Ah, burning wing! <laughs> Defending with space, you perform a quick step. Over s quick stepping, spend a small amount of SG. Here I come! If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. 
you holding back you noticed well done you pass of course his Moloch would never be so weak as that I am his Moloch no longer <sighs> first let me tell you what has transpired these past three years There are exorcists now, throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris, in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons. Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafayette. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Escape, so that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. We got a mutiny going on, do we? Items gained. Prodigy's Glacite. I got some exploring to do before I can uh, really get out of here. Also, it seems like my voice is going. <clears throat> That's always fun. Copper coins for days. You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. need them to like pay for things? Is that a thing of the past now?
enemies? No. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. First, I'll get uh, more copper coins. And more ore fragments. And uh, our resources. It looks like they kept prisoners of no, 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 no. here. Copper chests are resources. Broke. This will be useful. That's a resource. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Guess I'll have to be. Be careful. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. Really now? Didn't seem so special to me. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. More exploring now. Equipment. Almost there. titles oh and they give me bonuses do I have all of them at once though or do I just get whichever one is equipped probably just the one that's equipped it. That's, that's great and all. Um, I'll just stick with the default for now. Uh -huh. Okay, I guess I can't do anything with that glaze site or whatever. Hopefully I find a save point soon in this video. Oh! Speak of the de- sorry, demon. There are demons in this game, so I should use that. I'm just gonna collect another copper coin, and then I think that's gonna be it for this episode. This one's getting a bit long, it's uh, almost an hour, and I was 
trying to keep it a bit shorter, but, uh, the story must go on, or something like that. So, uh, thank you all for watching, uh, if you liked it, hit the like button, maybe subscribe, you know, or, or don't, whatever. Um, as always, feedback is greatly appreciated, and, uh, with that, we'll see you next time. See ya.